Hi Stephanie, I just wanted to kind of make you a quick video to show you some of the some of the progress um, in terms of development. Um, we basically we have the shell and the branding of the theme and all the custom stuff built out, and uh, we're in the process of finalizing the migration of pages and content and media from your old site over to your new site and building out all of those pages that uh, existed on your old site. Um, there's about 230 URLs to pull from, so it does take quite a bit of time to get through that, but uh, the main development is in a good place. Um, homepage is all done with your search banner, call to actions for different uh, categories where different listings could go on pages based on views or pet friendly or, you know, different categories like luxury, um, which those are items we'd be replicating from your live site, and then we would pull directly from Streamline to categorize listings on pages that these would link to. Things to do section where we can have pages where these are clicked and it goes to pages where they can learn about dining, fishing, hiking, biking, or the beach, etc. All of those can be changed out, um, so those will be something to look over and see what you would like. An informational section with a nice parallax image continued on with some more informational section your feel right at home section that kind of shows some stuff that each of your rentals include and then a nice slider to feature some properties that we just need to pinpoint which properties you want there your footer that's all built out we built out all your search functionality so they can pick any criteria there or just hit search and go to your main search results. And I'll show you that. It finishes loading. We need to pull in your company code still. We're using a developmental one right now, so these aren't your properties, but we need to put that in. Um, you know, they have a button to see a map view where this can pin the properties that load on page. Um, each one of these units here. Um, is pulling the details from Streamline. These hearts are to add it to your favorites where they can click over here in the header and view all properties that they've saved as their favorite while they were browsing and trying to make their decision. We can show where they're at. Um, we can put ribbons to highlight you know, stuff that might be on special or icons and such that could represent pet friendly different things like that. You can pull star ratings for properties that have been reviewed. Um, so we'll just take a look at those kinds of things. Um, off to the right, close the map view and adjust back to three columns of properties. Uh, for site speed purposes, put a load more button to load more properties so this page will load faster. And then they can toggle more on as they go through their search. Um, you know, they can choose and filter by dates in which they want to travel. They can filter by room type, number of adults or kids, um, animals, pets. And you can filter by amenities and then update their search criteria. Give you an idea of what the unit pages are all built out. What that looks like. But you should recognize most of this from your design. So it comes in and first it loads with a slider for the images that pull from Streamline for each unit. They have a sticky booking form here so that they can enter in their dates and choose their guests and go ahead and book. Um, or if they have questions, they can send an inquiry by clicking that button and filling out that form. You have your different tabs for your descriptions, your amenities, all of these scroll to their appropriate section, your availability calendars, where they can scroll a couple months at a time and pull and see your availability for those units. Um, a rates sheet that would pull all this pulls from Streamline, gives breakdowns for maybe different seasons or certain time frames, festivals, different things like that. <clears throat> room details where it kind of breaks down the room a little bit more. And 
and a spot for your virtual tours if you're offering them and then a map to pinpoint that specific property and that's all built out your checkout flow has been built let me get to one that's got some available dates here and choose the number of guests <clears throat> and get your subtotal or total of taxes and fees and the total price. This can have an option to click and then expand and give a breakdown of what all those taxes and fees are. So just keep that in mind if that's something you're interested in. And then kind of show you a little bit of the checkout flow. Here they can fill in their guest information. I've already done so in some testing, so it saved it. And then some different fees or waivers that they can select from and add on. If they choose those, it uh, populates over to their total cost. And then a spot to fill in the payment information and then process their booking. Um, so all of that stuff is done, making some good progress. We just need to finish migrating over the content for the other pages, and then I'll build out your menu structure to uh, coincide with your old site's menu and pages. And then it's basically turn it over to you for any kind of fine-tuning or review for you and your team to do. Uh, so it's not quite at that point to send you the link um, to really show off in a meeting yet. Um, we're hoping to have the migration done within the next day or so and then we can schedule a meeting together. Um, so I will keep you posted.